Welcome to raigurukul.com. In this video, we will discuss about how to create a custom report or how to add a custom report in Jira. So, if you are new to this channel and looking forward to learn about adding custom reports in Jira, then please watch complete video. And if you will think so, this will be useful. Don't forget to share within the circle. So, post your login into Jira account. You will navigate into the project sections from this. If you jump to the reports, you will find it out default reports which is available inside your board. So these are the reports which we are getting by default into Jira. But what if we want to add some other custom report charts or custom charts into Jira? So for this, simply go to the apps and click on manage your apps find new apps and then write it down jira custom report hit search tab and you will find it out these are the different charts or custom reports created by the third party or any other organizations so let's see i want to install this simply i will select this and click on try for free it will give us try for free options for few days where we can use this and see how it is working. So trial version is working only for the 30 days. Let's hit and click on start free. It will take few or four minutes to install this and this custom reports has been created by Old Street Solutions, which is one of the perfect organizations who is building a customized solution for different sections about atlassian products so here you can see this has been successfully installed post just click on configure and it will navigate you to the configurations page where you want to add this custom report now you can see here number of formats it is showing like this and you can change the number as per your requirement then the calculated value is showing here one date formats are assigned here date format is a current date format then the time unit is in hours per day eight per week so these all customizations will be required for generating and report and we can also select color codes so color options are also there default char color codes if you are going ahead with this it will show the standard color codes we can also add it this color codes and keep our own color standard as well but as of now i am not changing anything here so i am keeping those default chart color codes app theme we can customize our app theme as well but as of now i am going ahead with the same settings then performance options we have performance options to measure it like auto refresh time interval maximize issue displays on a chart maximize issue per link so these are the templates options and performance options are available feature if you want to integrate with the issue leads simply it will be integrated with the issue leads which will slow cloud only and features which is available for shared dashboards and even we have the templates which custom chart templates allow users to create templates for charts that can be reused by other user post doing all this uh, activity we also have the cloud migration so but as of now i'm not configuring anything i will simply jump into my custom report chart and see the reports generating some of the options so let's go to the project now post downloading when we will go to the dashboard page from there when we want to add gadget simply click on add gadget and this right side title will appear from here simply right here custom custom chart so when i will select this it will navigate to this page and we also see some other custom charts are available like custom chart simple search custom chart share dashboard custom chart issue list so these all are the gadgets available where we can select and um, add this gadget into our dashboards so here you can see I just selected some of the projects and select this project. If you want, you can select any other project. Now click on search. 
and then saved filter from the save filter uh let me select anything i'm selecting epic status the, the chart which is generated here with the epic status we can also select based on the any other parameter like assignee issues or issue status fix versions epic status change risk component created by approver or based on their signee it will generate different other filters so this is a custom charts which we can use it for our project which will give us the very interactive page where we can save this into our dashboard as well so click on save and this chart will be saved permanently where we can see custom charts which is generated based on the assignee we can also select based on the issue so custom chart issue leads if we want to add custom chart based on the issue leads simply we have to click here and add this gadget now here we can also filter it out um, based on the project and the issue leads so if you can see here i've just selected uh two projects from here it will generate an issue list how many issue list we have columns which all columns we want to filter it out based on let's say i am filtering the assignee here so assignee will have some name like and post this we will just save the settings and based on the settings it will generate a custom chart issue list so that's how it is working uh into jira where we can add our custom chart uh issue list and custom issue list or generate a report in practice report for a project which will help you help us to see the visual impact about uh any particular topics that's all about this video hope you enjoyed it if you really think so this will be useful share within your circle thank you for watching